Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Eva Venes of painfreeforlifepilates.com located in San Diego, California. In today's video, I'm going to teach you five awesome stretches for tight hips and lower back. Uh, first of all, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel for weekly content on how to eliminate chronic pain in the body without the use of drugs and surgeries and how to increase your strength, flexibility and mobility. Before we dive into the videos, um, I just want to highlight how important form is when you do these stretches. Be sure to pay attention to your form. I will highlight some of the most common mistakes that you could be making. Um, also, stay with me until the very end of the video and I will tell you about my stretching and mobility home program um, if you want to continue working on your hip flexibility. Um, First of all, we are using a yoga strap for today's exercises. Um, let's lay down on our back and then have you put your yoga strap on the bottom of your right foot and just cross your left foot over the right knee and use your hands to draw your legs towards your upper body where you should feel the stretch is the left hip. Um, this foot that's crossed over the knee, if you trace that sensation over to the, to the hip, you should feel a nice and delicious stretch in the deep hip rotator muscles. When those muscles get tight, they don't allow your thigh bones to rotate in the sockets, hence they create a lot of immobility and tightness. That can also contribute to sciatica, lower back pain, so give that piriform is a really nice and deep stretch. Um, then let's do a hamstring stretch. I'm going to elongate my left leg on my mat and raise my right foot towards the ceiling. Now flex that foot, bring your toes towards your shin as much as you can elongate the back of your leg. If you're too tight, just go ahead and bend your knee and just gently work towards straightening. Also, try and turn your leg in the hip socket. Can you turn it inwards? Can you turn it out? This way, we are not just stretching the muscles in one plane, but we are addressing the tightness um, more in the all three heads of the hamstring muscle. Then let's take this leg across the body. Open your arm and just look away from your stretching leg. And then switch hands, bring that leg up to the side and look in the opposite direction. And we are just alternating here. Bring your leg across your body. Open your opposite arm to the side. Look away from your stretching leg. Then bring it up. Switch hands, bring that leg up to the side and look away from it. Let's do this one more time. So as you notice, we are not just holding the stretches statically, but we are combining the stretches with movement, which is way more effective than just holding the stretch. Um, so we did a piriformis stretch, we did a hamstring stretch, we released the inner and outer thigh muscles a little bit. Now, uh, let's come up to a seated position and we are take this leg behind us and stretching the front of the hip, the hip flexors. Oftentimes when the hip flexors are tight, uh, our hip mobility is so limited. So let's just roll that, that hip back and forth a little bit and increase our mobility right here in the front of the leg. Mm, it should feel really delicious and it will open up the front of your hip. Now we will lay down again and <clears throat> just draw that leg towards your upper body that will increase the uh, flexibility of the glute muscles. And <clears throat> while you're doing that, if you're laying, let's say, on a, on a tall bed or you're laying on a... Um, uh, so far, um, I'm going to switch the look just so you can see me better. So if you're laying on a tall bed, scooch to the side of the bed, uh, keep the stretch going in that leg and let your other leg hang off of the table. That will give you a nice deep stretch again, both in your hip flexors and in your quadriceps. You can swing your lower leg a little bit back and forth on the, 
on that side where your leg is hanging off and mm, that will uh, again increase your uh, flexibility via movement as opposed to just holding the stretch statically. Um, let me show you another nice deep hip opener to finish with. So you're going to cross your legs as if you tie the bow. The legs are crossed above the knees and you just want to put that yoga strap over your shins and just get a hold of your legs, pull the legs towards your upper body. You should feel a nice deep stretch in the right hip if your right leg is your top leg. If you're doing it with the left leg crossed over the right leg, then you're feeling the stretch in the left hip muscles. Um, so just draw those legs nice and tightly towards your upper body and you will get a really nice release in your deep hip rotator muscles. I hope you enjoyed these stretches and if you're excited to do more and work on your hip flexibility um, some more, then please visit my website at www.painfreeforlifepilaris.com and click on the shop tab. Um, you will see a number of different programs under the shop tab. You want to choose the stretching and mobility home program, which includes more than 40 healing corrective exercises. A lot of them are stretching and mobility exercises. So you can really increase the mobility in your entire body and immediately start feeling better. If you would like more personalized guidance and you would want to work with me, also visit my website and sign up for a free 15 minute phone consultation so we can get things started. And while on my website, don't forget to register for my weekly newsletter so you get updates when a new YouTube video releases. For more great video tips on how to eliminate chronic pain in the body without the use of drugs and surgeries and how to increase your strength, flexibility and mobility, please check out my playlists on my YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me today.